Hey, welcome to this lesson video for our introduction of the unit circle. Um, today, on this video, we're just going to focus on um, a few degrees, finding the sine, cosine, and tangent of 30, 150, 210, and 330 degrees. Um, before we get started, though, just a couple things we want to talk about and review. Um, I've got three triangles here, and these are special right triangles. We've got a 45, 45, 90 triangle and remember um, we talked about side lengths when the hypotenuse is one both of these triangles have oh, excuse me both sides of this triangle are si side lengths of radical 2 over 2 okay for a 30 60 90 the hypotenuse when the hypotenuse is one the shortest sign measures a half and the um, longer sign measures radical 3 over 2. And then finally when I have another 30, 60, 90 but um, flip-flopped around like this, the hypotenuse is still 1, um, the shorter side is again 1 half and the longer radical 3 over 2. Okay, So we're going to be using these side lengths a lot so we want to make sure that we remember this. As well as um, kind of Thinking about the coordinate plane and having a circle, more specifically, um, let's say that this is at a value of 1 and this is at a value of negative 1. This circle then has a radius of 1 all the way around. So this is called the unit circle because of that reason. Um, so we're going to be working within this unit circle. We need to recall the degree of a circle is 360. So if I call this my starting point, so I'm starting at degree zero, and I work up to this next axis. It's a right angle, so I've increased by 90 degrees. If I keep working to the next axis, axis I've gone another 90, so I'm now at 180 degrees. If I continue around, then I'll end up at 270. And then if I've made it all the way around the circle, I end back up at 360 degrees, which is the measure of a, the degrees of a circle. Okay, so keep these degree increments in your mind. Um, and we're kind of ready to jump into our unit circle talk here. We want to remember our quadrants. Um, they work counterclockwise, so the first quadrant, second quadrant, third, and fourth quadrant. And hopefully you have some colored pencils as you go along and do this with me, because um, we wanna, we're going to color coordinate. So I'm going to let color blue represent quadrant one. Let's let red be quadrant two. Green, quadrant three. And then I'll use purple for quadrant four. And let's kind of get started. So the directions in this fir first part say in quadrant one, which is this quadrant, draw a right triangle that has a vertex at the origin and a hypotenuse measuring one unit. Um, let the angle at the vertex measure 30 degrees. So in other words, let me see if my little triangle tool will work. Let's see. No, I have to flip it. I'll just do it by hand. Um, my quadrant one was blue. so. I'm going to draw a right triangle, and it wants me to have this measure be 30 degrees. Obviously, I'm eyeballing it. I mean, you'll get the picture. And then I'm going to drop the altitude here to make myself a right triangle. Okay. And um, based on those triangles that we drew before, we know that this is the unit circle, so my hypotenuse is 1. Obviously, this was my shorter side, so we said that this had a side measure of a half, and the longer side then would have a side measure of radical 3 over 2. Now, thinking about Sokotoa and what that means, in respect to this 30 degrees that's at the origin, I'm going to label my sides O, A, and H. So opposite of the 30 is the 1 half side. Adjacent to my 30 degrees is the radical 3 over 2. And then obviously the 1 is my hypotenuse. So it says find the following, sine of 30, cosine 30, tangent of 30. Well, I can just use this triangle that I drew in the first quadrant. Um, sine is O over H, so 1 half 
divided by one, I guess I could write it out, one half divided by one is just gonna stay one half, because divided by one is gonna keep it what it was. Cosine is a divided by h, so radical three over two divided by one, again, it's just gonna stay radical three over two. And then tangent is o over a. Now here's where it kind of gets a little messy, but once we do it the first time, we don't have to do it anymore. One half divided by radical three. You have to remember that to divide fractions, we have to change the sign. Remember, keep, change, flip. Keep the first fraction, change this to multiplication, and flip the second fraction. So as I multiply my two fractions then, across the top and across the bottom, I'm gonna end up with two over two radical three. Well, those twos would just cancel each other and you have one over radical three. But we've talked about before that you can't have a radical in the denominator, so we have to do the special fraction, radical three over radical three. So this is simply gonna be radical three over just a regular three, because when you have radical three times itself, um, it's just a three. So this is gonna be my tangent value, radical three over three. Okay, um, now this is what's the coordinate where the hypotenuse touches the circle? So it's asking for this point right here, and so the x value is how far you went over. What's the measure of that side? Radical three over two, and then what's the height to get up to that point? One half. So now we're gonna change our colors, and let me remember, quadrant two I designated as red. So now it's asking us for the sine of 150, for sine, cosine, and tangent of 150. So you gotta think about, okay, when we labeled our degrees, this was zero, this was 90, this was 180. You know, 50 falls somewhere between 90 and 180. M more specifically, um, oh, that's, that's not a very good. <laughs> 150. Um, ugh. Maybe I better just get a <laughs> something like that. Um, 150, if you go all the way to 180, but then you backtrack 30 degrees, you end up at 150. Okay, so this little angle is 30 degrees. So we've got a triangle like we were talking about on the last one. Goodness, I'm having a time drawing straight lines. Okay, so the hypotenuse is still one for this guy. The shortest side is still a half. That was my little degree symbol. And this side measure was radical three over two. However, think about where you're at on the coordinate plane, and this is on the negative axis, so we need to make that radical three over two negative. So then if I think about Sokotoa um, and labeling O, A, and H, this would be my O, this would be my A, and this would be my hypotenuse. So the sine of 150 is this triangle that I've drawn in the second quadrant, and let's see. O over H, one half divided by one would be one half. A over H, this negative fraction divided by one is gonna stay negative radical three over two. And then the tangent, O over A, oh goodness. One half divided by that negative radical three over two. Well, we already did all the work. Just think about the sign. A positive divided by a negative is just gonna mean that it's negative radical three over three. If you think about what we did in our first triangle. And so the coordinate for this point is gonna be, we went back negative radical three over two, and we went up a half. All right, triangle three um, asks us for sine, cosine, tangent of 210 degrees. So again, I think this was my green one. If this was zero, this was 90, this was 180, this was 270, 210 is somewhere between here, so we're gonna fall in the third quadrant. More specifically, uh, if I go 180 and I go 30 more, I'll be at 210. 
So this is going to be my 210, which it's asking me for. And I only had to go an extra 30. So we've still got this same triangle with that 30 degrees. It's just um, in the third quadrant. My hypotenuse is still 1. This short side is still a half, but now it's negative because we're in the negative y values. And this guy is still negative for radical 3 over 2. So if I think about Sokotoa and I label my sides, this is still O, this is still A, and this is H. So the sine opposite over hypotenuse is just simply going to be negative 1 half. The cosine, A divided by H, is going to be negative radical 3 over 2. And then that tangent thing again, that negative 1 half divided by negative radical 3 over 2. We already did the work, let's just figure out the sign. Negative divided by negative, it's just going to be a positive radical 3 over 3 again. So the point where we our triangle hit the circle here, well, we went back negative radical 3 over 2, and we went down negative a half. One more triangle to draw the 330 degree. Okay. So if we think about 0, 90, 180, 270, and then if I go all the way around, I end up at 360 again. So 330 is somewhere between 270 and 360. So we're in the fourth quadrant. Um, if I go all the way 360, but then I backtrack 30 more, I'll end up at 330, which is what I want. And I think this quadrant was my purple quadrant, so I'll use purple now. So I backtracked 30, so that's what that little angle measure is. So if I use my little triangle here, my hypotenuse is still 1. I still went down, so the short side's negative a half. But now I'm back on the positive side for the x's. So positive radical 3 over 2 for that longer side. So. Uh, this is my adjacent to 30, this is my opposite to 30, this is my hypotenuse. So sine of this triangle will be O over H, so that would be negative 1 half. My cosine, A over H, so radical 3 over 2. And then my tangent, O over A, negative 1 half divided by positive radical 3 over 2, negative and a positive. Um, this time we're going back to a negative tangent value that we had. What's the point where our triangle hits the circle? We went over a positive radical 3 over 2, and we went down negative a half. So that finishes our first part with our unit circle, just kind of working around each quadrant where we've got a 30 degree triangle at the origin. So we're going to continue our talk with the unit circle and look at angles 45, 135, 225, and 315 in our next video. So keep learning and I'll see you the next time.